So today we will concentrate on intent. So intent is one of the main important uh, here. So this is one of the component of Android. So one of the component. And using this, we can do many things. So one is moving from one page to other. So this is the first. Next, data transfer. So data transfer between activities. So we can do data transfer also. Then start service. So next invoke system components. So invoke system components. So these are all the things we will do here using this uh, init. So here, inert has a two types. One is explicit. So using an explicit intent, we can do this above functionality, stick three and implicit intent. So using an implicit intent, we can do system invoke, system invoke component. Means this invoke system component means here, like, uh, we can say open camera, open gallery. So such kind of activities we will do here. Right. So these two, we will see how these are two are the main concentration here, like step by step, we will see here this. So for this now, we will create a project, right? First we will see how to move from first page to next page that we will concentrate first. So in this, as of now, we discussed uh, with linear layout, right? So today here, we will discuss with the linear relative layout. So um, I'm changing this constraint layout to relative layout. Relative layout. And this text here, I'm changing in for our understandable. So I'm changing this as We are in first phase. So, remove that. And here I'll add ID. That is ID. So, TV1. Right, so after that, here I'll take one button. So I'm taking here button. Match parent. Graph content. So ID. Button ID BT1. I'm giving as a BT1. So 
the next text. So here, move to second. So from here, I want to go to second page. So that. The next, we need to add the relation here because this is the relative layout, right? So we will add here below at the rate ID that is BT. TP1, right. So I'll give some margin for this. Margin. Right. Done. So I have created a So for this button, we will apply listener. So to apply this not here, now I'll enable the data binding here first. So here, I'm enabling the data binding. So here I'm adding data binding. Now here we can enable data binding here. In a gradle scripts. Here we used to enable the data binding. So here, I'm enabling the data binding. Data binding. Enable equal to group. So, we will sync this. I think now. So here we will enable the, we will add the data point. Var binding. Colon. So activity main. Binding so equal to now. So we added the nullify condition here, right? So then, after here, now we will map the binding here. Binding equal to data binding util dot so here this so we'll import this and we'll apply the listener for the button Both imported here. Right. So here I'm giving the listener for the button. So that is binding dot bt one dot set on this. So 
pattern. So now we will move from first page to second. So here I'm writing the intent code. So that is just I'm declaring the intent for intent equal to intent of. So here now we need to write that is context. First is the context. So that is this at the rate main activity. So second is the target class. So here target class. So from here now I want to move to the second class. So second dot class. So second colon colon class dot java. Here we need to define like this. Right. Then here start activity start activity of intent so i have made it like this right now with this name so with this name we have to create one activity so here in uh, here i'm right clicking on here right once i right click so i'm creating here new activity so that is empty views activity so on the name of second whatever we created so that i'm creating one act see once we create this activity here this c second here it is created and here in a layout one more xml created right one more xml created and in manifest file also that has registered so in manifest file also it will be registered like here see second means each and every activity must register in your manifest file so that is like this right right here now we'll import this and we will run this program and we will see if we are able to move to the second page or not we will see we will run it right here now so let us run this So now if we click uh, the one button, so we should be able to move to the next page. Right, that is working or not, we will see here. So here we are in first page. So now I'm clicking on this. See, once I click on this, so we are moving to the second page, like this. Means the second page, whatever it is created, that is created as an empty. So we are moving from first page to second. Right? See, if I go back, so this is the page one. So from here, we are moving to this page, right? Now, I want to move from second page to third page. So that how that will happen. So now we will see. So when you want to move to the first second page to third page, then forget about the main activity. So where which class you are concentrating, only concentrate on that class. So from here, right? 
So for this, now I want to change this here. Like, let us see here. Um, copying this XML because it's the same, right? So here, I'll paste that XML. So here, only this one will change instead of main activity here. I'll change second, right? Then here, here also this, I'll change as a PV2, make sure already one is available. So then here, we are in second page. So this is, I'll change as a BT2. So here I'll change this as a motto dot. I'm here. This is two. Right. Now in a second dot KT, here we will enable the data binding. So where binding column. So on what name binding will generate now? Activity second, whatever we created here, right? So our name of that, the binding will generate here. Because I, I already told the binding will be generated on the name of XML what it is. Right, so on the name of that only it will generate. So that is activity. Here it is already generated here. So that I'm using here. Right. This is the activity second binding I'm using here. So column question mark. So equal to null. Right. We will add the multiplication. Then here now. So binding equal to that is data binding with a dot. So both are added here, right? Here now, we'll add the context. Yes. Right, we will import this data binding util, then we can move on to the next, right? So here now, binding dot, binding dot, so bt2 dot, set on click list. So applying the on click list not here. So here, what we need to write so far, intent equal to intent of the intent of, we are to move from here context. Context is nothing but here, this at the rate of second because it will refer super class. So for this class, it is a super class, it's a second, right, second. Then from here, we used to move to the third page. So that is third class dot chart. So we have to move to the third, right. Then here, we should start that activity, start activity of intent, whatever we declare that we are right here. Right, now with this name third, we used to create a activity. So copy this and go back to here. So I right click on this new So, I 
activity mtbs activity the third so here you can see here third will create here see, third here it is created and here it is created right even in manifest file also the third activity has registered here right third activity also registered like so now we will run this program so i'm running this now we will see now second so completing here so we are moving to the third right so but here we need to concentrate on let's see i'm pressing back so how i'm moving forward in the same way i'm coming back but when user has clicked on a back button on the third page, I want to come to the first page instead of going second page. So how to do that? So for that here now, what I'll do here is now, I'm clicking here the finish. I'm writing here one simple that is finish. So what happens now here is, like if you won't finish this, in a background, there are multiple, like uh, if I open 10 pages, so in a, none of the any page does not have the finish. So what happens? Each and every activity is waiting on a background. Backgroundly, each and every activity can be waited. So what happens? So the application will consume more space and more more uh, running it. Like it will become slow. So that is the reason. Whenever it is not required, we will see. And now I'm back pressing on the third it is come to first page so this is second page but from here it is coming back to this page like right so this is like we used to decide like let us say there are multiple cases of this so in different way also i can handle this so let us i'm um, commenting this and in the third page i'll add something here so here there is a method called on back press so I'm creating one method here that is an on back first. So this on back press will handle the system back press. So here I added I added here on back press method. So here now you should write an intent. So that is back intent equal to intent. So intent of so this at the rate code then here from here which activity we have to go so that is main activity so calling for a class dot java so we are moving back to that page right so then here To start activity oh, intent. Right, we can import this. So 
right so this i added this now we will see here this is the script how this will come here now i'm clicking on this now we are in a third page so now i'm pressing back button so we are going to the first page but what is the difference between that and this so if i do this second type so back uh, the activity is waiting in a background it will wait in a background so this is means this is not suggestible in all places. Like depends on the situation, we will decide either in how to use finish or this. So in case, let us say I'm in a um, login page. So after successful login, user has click on that button back, so it should not come back. So that should not be proper. So that is the reason. So here we need to decide like user has to move to that particular specific area or not. Depends on situation, either you can use the that or this navigation we can use. Let us say I'm editing the contact. So uh, once I select a contact, click on edit. I'm back, I'm going back to edit page. So once I'm going back to the edit page, once after successful uh, edit, I should back to the contact page. So that time the contact page should wait in a background. So contact page should wait in a background. So that is the reason it should be waiting mode there. So like that we will define which activity should be waiting and which one should be in it like so that. So for this is then how to move from first one page to other page and intent. But here now I want to move some mm, data while moving from one page to other page. So how to move the data here? So here, uh, I'm taking to edit text here. So I want to move some data. So that is here, edit text, match parent, wrap content. So, Here I'll add one ID. So that is name right here below. So because this we use to relate to layout, so at the right. TB1. Yep. So I'm copying this edit text again. Copy and I'll paste this once again. So here, mobile, I'm changing the ID as mobile. And this below, name. So name and mobile. So here, for the button, so it is below. So what I'm taking below, that is the mobile. Right, so it is created like this. Now, within uh, this main activity, so I want to transfer the data, right? So here, so in an indent here, now what I'll do here. So here, I want to transfer the data. Here, 
to transfer the data intent dot put extra so here put extra so this we can send data in any format like put extra here it is the key comma value so that is a key for our understandable and value whatever the values you want to pass that you can pass here. so here we have two values right so those two values we will pass here so that is var intent var intent so that is var intent sorry intent dot put extra right intent dot extra so string first one is the name right so name where we can get that is a binding dot from the edit text right? binding dot name dot binding dot name dot get text name dot get text means here directly it is the get and set common right so text dot to string so whatever i'm taking that that i'm converting into string one right to string So here, similar, second value also. So here, this is, I'll change as the mobile. So here, the ID also will change as a mobile. Right, so we'll change this as a mobile. Right, so in a second dot. So from here, where we are moving, second. So in a second class, I want to get the data. So how can I get the data here? So here we will define the intent. So var intent. Like I add the data intent because we are getting the data, right? So that's the reason just I'll add here var data intent just this is data intent is my declaration equal to intent so we have to get intent so get and set is a common so intent that's it then now here var s1 equal to so that is the data intent dot from this data intent dot get string extra so we are getting the data from there so we used to write that is the get string extra so this is get string extra so what is the name we define key so this is the key is the name right so that is a key whatever key we define there so that we getting we are we need to add in case better uh even if you copy paste also it is better because so sometimes if it is a key is the case sensitive in case key is mismatched also we won't get the data so that's the reason better we can copy paste here see here as to so that is here mining here the mobile now so mobile mobile but right. added the mobile now i'll add the toast here so toast dot make text so this So here, I'll add S1 
manifesto. Then go to that. Length long. That show. Right. So I'm running this. Now we will see the data is passing here. Second activity or not. now here enter abc make some random number now see the whatever the data has entered so that is there in a second straight now i want to move this same data to third post so how can i do so again here indent dot right indent that put string means using an intent we can pass the data but only one level so here i'll put the data means if you want to transfer to the next activity again you need to add the next activity like step by step only it will work step by step only so Directly, I cannot pass. So there is a uh, no navigation from first to third. So directly, I cannot pass the data from first to third. Like right. So this whatever this S one S two it is created. So that I am passing the data here. So now just I'll copy this. Copy this and here I'm passing that here. Right. So here this second one could not be there, right? You can comment this. So here it is the data instead of the that instead of the name, here it is data. Right, because we define there is data. Now, this is also not the right. Now, I'm running this, we will see this. So this intense is very, very important because uh, every must, every application must has more than one activity, right? So it should be mandatory for every application okay now i'm into example data so then so in second now so in the third also this is like so this is how we are moving from one page to other page and uh, how transferring the data right so next year we have start service. So before going to start service, here we need to discuss activity life cycle. So tomorrow, first we'll discuss activity life cycle. Then after that, we'll discuss about the service.